What up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Justin. As you guys can see from the title, this is a video that my haters gonna love. Now, I don't have too many haters, right? I, at least I don't think I do. I mean, I have a few of them. Everybody does. Even Jesus had haters, and he was perfect, right? Um, not to start any type of religious words in the comments. Like that's just an analogy. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I I know. You know, there's always people in the comment section saying, "Does this guy really have an idea overall team? And he's sending blitzes. What a homo. He smells." His son's a fag. And this guy's a fag too. All he does is send his coach and spend money on packs. And I'm just like, wow. Was all that necessary because I sent a few blitzes? This guy had to have at least a 91 overall team minimum. I'm thinking a 92 overall team. His squadron was stacked. And he sent one of the most vicious B-gaps I faced all year. I have yet to really face somebody because I'm still early tier. This is my fourth season. I'm in what, pro, all, whatever it is. I have yet to really face the B squad and somebody who said, look at this B gap right here, look. It came screaming. I didn't know what to do. I got scared and threw off my back foot. I was like, ah! And I threw it. I got scared. I had no idea what to do. So, a lot of my haters sit there and say, oh, all you do is nano to win and you're a fag and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, as I said before in a video where it's a double standard and 98% of you guys in the comment section have my back and I appreciate that. I, mean, I appreciate anybody when somebody leaves you know, a comment saying, oh, you, you need to send Nanos to win, you're bad, you're blah, 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 blah. And I see people responding. I appreciate you guys having my back. I really do. I really do. Um, because you guys need to understand that in order to win in this game, you need to send pressure. Now, can you win with, look at that P-gap, bro. Right there, I knew it wasn't by mistake. I knew he knew what he was doing. So my adjustment was to try and run the ball as much as possible. Don't put myself in a situation to accept this B-gap. I don't want this B-gap to come raining down on me. I don't. I need him to not be in a position to be able to call that thing. So every blitz in this game can be stopped. It may take a different variation of things, but here's what you do to stop any blitz in the game. First is obvious to slide protect. I knew when he was sending the blitz, because, watch this vicious, uh, speaking of vicious, watch this uh, interception I'm going to have this drive. It was disgusting. It's coming up in a few plays, if not this play right here. I was proud of myself. Look at this. Oh, okay, never mind. Mulligan. It's coming up right now. I, I wouldn't lie to you. Here it is right here. Right here. Look, 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 look. Woo! What a snag. And we're going to take it for six on him. And we're going to wave to his girlfriend in the stands while we do it. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Mmm, you smell good. Is that Sun Breeze Lilac? Mmm. Nah. But, um, so obviously the first thing is slide protect, right? So I knew he was blitzing because it was a stack to the right. I think he was running 4-3 over or something like that. Maybe a big dime. Whatever it was, he had extra guys to the right side of the formation. So I slid to the right, slide to the right, and nothing happened. The B-gap still came in. So obviously, it's unslidable with just that. It's not going to work. So the next thing is blocking an extra guy. The next thing is try blocking a running back or a tight end to see if I can pick this blitz up. We go deep up top and ah, just a little overthrown. Look at that B-gap. That's me sliding, protecting to the right, and it's just not working. It's just not working. So now I need to slide, like I said, slide, protect, and try to figure out if blocking a running back and or a tight end is going to work. Sometimes you got to block extra guys. Sometimes you got to slide, protect, block a running back and a tight end. You see right there, I blocked my running back. Sometimes that doesn't even work. Sometimes it's a, it's a play that they discovered where you need, look at OBJ right here. Wow. Unbelievable. Sometimes you need to do something crazy like it has to be a play action play. Because play action blocking or going under center stops a lot of like B gaps and A gaps. Going under center helps a lot too. But I hate under center. I prefer shotgun. Most of my um, schemes have always been shotguns. I even run out of shotgun. I just feel comfortable in a shotgun formation. Pistol, whatever it is. I don't like to be under center. I, I, I don't. Um... But going under center is a solution. I just never had a good scheme under center. Um, yeah, so going under center, calling play action. So if you're getting, you know, A-gap and B-gap and blocking guys and slide protecting isn't working, call a play action play and make some hot routes because nine times out of ten, play action plays really aren't that good. They don't have really beast routes. So you got to go on ahead and try to make some hot routes. But you got to make adjustments. You got to pick up the blitz. And he's A-gapping me. to. I mean, he's B-gapping me like crazy. So I have to go on ahead and... Try to make adjustments so I can, uh, you know, stop him from doing what it is he wanted to do, which is be gapping me right in front of my mother for no no apparent reason. So, um, yeah, I finally got matched up against somebody. 
who's sending vicious heat. Because like I said, you guys hate it when I do it. But I know you guys love it when it's done to me. See, I get called the bum for sending blitzes. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to call this guy a beast. He knows what he's doing. He's been labbing all day. This guy's a monster. I won by luck. I won because my team is so better, even though he has 92. You guys will find a reason why I win. You know what I mean? Why I won or whatever. I won because I have OBJ, which which I'm not going to lie. Obviously, it would have been more difficult if I didn't have OBJ. He's a man. Listen, I got him. What do you want me to do? Don't blame me. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. This is what I do. I try to provide gameplay with some of the best players so you guys can sit back and watch and see how they perform. That's what I do. Don't judge me. Uh -huh. But like I always say, man, I, I really don't care about... Uh, you know, I'd much rather, and this is the honest to God truth, I'd much rather lose and have a, a good video for you guys than win and the video be, eh, you know what I mean? So, um, I don't like, I mean, I don't blow too many people out <laughs> as, you know, often as it is, but I'd much rather be in a close game because it's more entertaining, you know what I mean? Um, but all I really care about is, you know, at the end of the day, a good video you know some good gameplay where hopefully i can go on ahead and and make good commentary for you guys uh but this guy like i said he was obviously oh, we're just right here just going obj he just has no answer right now he's not making the adjustments and that's what madden is all about so you need to understand that i have the most dominant receiver in the game right now uh with obj well him and pyramid i put pyramid above him because he actually has more height but um you got to make a if i'm going up against that you have to prepare you know you got to put you know, uh, instead of having, you know, if you got DRC at cornerback, put him at safety. Get more speed over the top. Back him up and, you know, shade over the top and highly. You got to make adjustments, you know, and he wasn't doing that. He had a vicious B gap, but other than that, he wasn't making any adjustments whatsoever. And that's what cost him the game. And I know that this guy probably beats a lot of players just running that B gap if somebody didn't know how to make the adjustments to stop it. Um, it took us a while to figure out. It did, because we were slide protecting, it wasn't coming, I mean, and it was coming in still, and I couldn't stop it to save my life, but eventually, you know, we picked it up, and uh, from there, it was just, you know, uh, easy, because um, outside of that one blitz, he didn't have too much going for him on defense, uh, offense, he struggled pretty much the entire, look at LT just being, that's why I put him number one, until I discovered Dre Archer, so many people were using him, I was like, YOLO, let me give him a shot, and um, I found out he's, he's so fast. But, um, yeah, so we got B-gapped. This guy had a really good team. And, you know, number one comment will still be, this guy clearly has a family to feed. He works all day. He provides for his family, working minimum wage. All he does, he likes to come home and relax and play Madden. Not like you, GS. You're a fag. All you do is sit down and play Madden. And that's why you won, because you play so much more than him. This man has a real job. You sit home and do nothing but eat cereal, watch Sports Center, and provide mediocre videos with a goofy bird in the corner. And I'm just going to be like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. If somebody repeats all that, that should be number one comment, though. I'll even thumb it up. That's a lot. It's your boy GS. We're going to sign out. Peace.